the parents had refused they have now accepted and here you are you have planned for the wedding and the marriage has happened what happens next he really helped me out mm -hmm. he worked on me mm -hmm. he talked to me mm -hmm. he told me it is possible that uh, violence mm -hmm. uh post election did a good thing for us it was a blessing in disguise it was a real blessing. Hello, hello, and welcome to Kapo's Wheel Show. This is where we ride down our love wheel when we are alive, but we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under. Neither we want our love story to be read when we are gone. And uh, it is 18th of March, year 2022. And you know how we are doing it in the month of March? We are marching in love after we were spoiled in love in the month of love the month of february and so we are always looking forward to having you every friday at 9 45 and we want to continue with the story that we started last week and so i have the karaoke's they will continue from where we stopped last friday hi guys hi, hi. yes nice story yes amazing amazing and so the parents had refused, they have now accepted, and here you are, you have planned for the wedding, and the marriage has happened. What happens next? Wow, you know the, the starting point is now we have to settle yes. in some house. Don't mind about... Where? Where? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know the promises we give. Yes. And uh, you tell. I remember when I was uh, dating her. I told her, if you accept. Yes. If you accept what I'm telling. Eh. Yani unukumbari too me. Ifo too. Utajanga. You know. Pahadi utajanga. Eh. Nita kubeleka. Utajanga. And you know, mushanga inaweza kuwa positive or negative. Yes. True. Like any ladies don't bother with the mushanga or negative. Eh. So when uh, they get to the place and they don't get what they expected, yeah. Ukweli wana shanga. Yeah, wana shanga. Then na mwambia, sini kwambia utashanga. Shanga. Dio hii mushanga. Negative mushanga. Yeah. So I will start life very simple. Mm -hmm. Very very simple. Mm -hmm. Uh, in a small house, mm. you know, I tried mm. because it wasn't a very bad place. Mm. Um, but uh, we were not very comfortable remaining in that house. Mm. That is one of the things that pushed us mm. to work very hard mm. because we realized that uh, although by then both of us were working, we have mm. gotten jobs, mm. we realized that we are, you know, ragging behind. We are like behind our bills. Mm. Yeah. We are getting into debts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, that is one thing that dismantles marriage. Yeah. And you start arguing. Mm -hmm. I think it's because we are buying ABCD. Mm -hmm. And then she also feels like, no, it's you that you bought more expensive stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is the time you go to a supermarket with uh, more Kenya. Yes. Uh, you are looking at Yeah. Uh, yeah. Buy okay. this, buy this, and yeah. they. You know, if you try to buy something different, mm -hmm. that becomes an issue. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, there is no money. Mm -hmm. And the way I love shopping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she yeah. loves shopping, my good Spending. Days. Yes. <laughs> she can spend, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I had to make money. Mm -hmm. sure. And, um, you know, I had promised good life. Yeah. So we really worked, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and I really appreciate Pierre's for this, mm -hmm. Uh, she didn't leave me to be the guy struggling, looking mm -hmm. for money. Mm -hmm. uh, she became she became kikuyonaist mm -hmm. in terms of looking for money. And by this time, you are both teaching. Yeah, yeah. both of us are teaching, mm -hmm. but uh, not enjoying so much because uh, she has spent the entire day wherever, mm -hmm. and I've spent my entire day elsewhere. Mm -hmm. We're meeting with uh, stress and all that Tired. and actually yeah. where we started mm -hmm. first i was teaching in thika mm -hmm. is is in nairobi mm -hmm. so i have to be coming like over the weekend i'm tired when especially i was expecting so it mm -hmm. becomes an issue i can oh, even so you stay did for. used to live together no mm -hmm. i was teaching interior ah. not near the town so mm -hmm. i used to like come once in two weeks he can mm -hmm. come when he gets the time and we really felt like we are even 
far apart yes. you know instead of marriage yes. bringing us together mm. we were living far away so yes, after post election mm. i got a chance now to get a transfer mm. i came to nairobi mm. now we lived together yeah. mm. that, that so, post, you know that uh, violence mm -hmm. uh, post election did a good thing for us it was a blessing in disguise it was a real blessing because that is how she was able to get a transfer ah. so that she's not killed from the oh. kikuyu <laughs> ah. yeah so she came closer yeah coming closer she came closer and you know even got inside completely so yes. it was a close it back and mm. yeah. yeah so that is uh, now where we started living together mm -hmm. but you see we are still spending time separate separate the whole, the whole, the whole day. day yeah Mm. Uh, so we now she became very supportive so at one point we asked ourselves for how long shall we work like this mm -hmm. and we had very high expectations for mm. me when i was studying and i worked very hard i'm that guy who got first class honors in physics and maths mm -hmm. you know working very hard mm. because i wanted the best life only mm. to realize there's, uh, that there's a difference between what you theoretically expect and what you find on the ground mm -hmm. <laughs> So I realized that even if I work the hardest, mm -hmm. I will never make it. Mm -hmm. So the hand I worked, the mm -hmm. broker I became. <laughs> <laughs> and so I started working even overnight. Mm -hmm. You know, daytime I'm working, mm -hmm. the night and I'm writing books. Writing books. Mm -hmm. It became an older. It became an older. Trying to look for money. Uh, not because mm -hmm. I really wanted uh, to write a lot. No, not but that I, you wanted to inspire <laughs> people. Uh, not much. <laughs> yeah. I, in any case, there were, it was physics. Yes. You know. Uh, uh -huh. But then. I became too busy that I didn't have time for even family. for my family. Mm -hmm. Men, even getting time for my children was not possible. Mm -hmm. I remember most of the times uh, she would, uh, of course, jokingly introduce me to my children. Yeah. Uh, you, you've been hearing some bass here <laughs> sometimes. That's uh, your dad. Uh, uh, you know, that's your dad. Oh, not uncool. It's okay. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, we time. Did, and you know, uh, really, uh, parenting is a window. Yes. That God gives us. Mm. If you don't operate within that window, mm -hmm. it will close. Yeah. Unfortunately, many people will start, you know, getting serious with the, their family, mm -hmm. being available, mm -hmm. when the window is already co closed. Mm -hmm. So that is why many people regret on the deathbed. Mm -hmm. Ask many people, if you are to live life afresh, mm -hmm. what would you do differently? And mm -hmm. they will tell you, I would spend more time with my, my family. family. Yeah. yeah. That's me, I don't key. want to, when I'm going out of this world, mm -hmm. I don't want people to say that uh, I was the best businessman mm -hmm. and uh, I drove the best machines. Mm -hmm. I want them to say that he was the best father. Mm -hmm. My children to say he was the best dad. Mm -hmm. My wife to say he was the, the guy best. was a husband and three quarters. Yes. You know, that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. So. It, it was deliberate. For, for us to find exactly. time, mm -hmm. we deliberately decided, let's start something on the side. Mm -hmm. Now, what we started on the side turned out to be what was to give us financial freedom yeah. and time, time yeah. freedom. Yes. And let me tell you, mm -hmm. it feels nice when you have financial freedom, first of all. Mm -hmm. And it is real. Mm -hmm. If you get outside the box mm -hmm. and uh, you expand your comfort zone so that you are really doing more than you thought you can possibly do mm -hmm. you achieve a lot yes it's possible for one to achieve in a month mm -hmm. what he was only achieving in a year sure mm -hmm. but you must change here first the yes. mindset so the mindset mm -hmm. so that worked for us then we got now time freedom mm -hmm. we fired our bosses mm -hmm. you, you know and uh, that was after now financial freedom we got time freedom mm. and that thing we value it so much yeah that we can do what we want to do when we want to exactly do it. Yes. like today sh in the morning she asked me um do we have to go to the town and uh, i i don't have uh, let's just go just mm -hmm. in case uh, someone wants to see us in the office mm -hmm. you see that's kind of a very good uh, yeah. way of uh, mm -hmm. operating mm -hmm. so you are the controlling theme. your time, time. Yes. not someone else control. controlling time, time for you i tell mm -hmm. people you don't have to live the life that has been handed over to you mm -hmm. you need to live your dream life mm -hmm. and that has some cost Wow. to be paid wow. so we paid the cost mm -hmm. and uh, today we are able to enjoy life together oh wow. yes Amen. so oh. what are some of the challenges you've gone through in your marriage wow 
she talks more. So <laughs> today I'm really <laughs> taking advantage. <laughs> I'll mention one and maybe she can move on with others. Uh, the very first challenge came in uh, when we married. Those first few months and maybe a year or two, when we are now getting used to working within the same rhythm. Mm -hmm. uh, for her, she was uh, that person who sleeps very late. <laughs> for me, mm -hmm. by around 6 p.m., my friend, my the eyes have closed. Her. What? Now you can imagine mm -hmm. finding an equilibrium. Yes. <laughs> Do you know you could uh, go to sleep? <coughs> uh, of course, she expects that the fellow will be awake for the next three years to cool the stories. Yes. And uh, the story starts. Yes. And in the first few minutes of the story, I have switched she, off, but I'm still saying... Left alone. I'm still saying... Uh, yeah. uh, uh, so in the morning, I'm so mad. He can't even talk to me. I'm like, are you normal? <laughs> yes. Eh? And you said beyond <laughs> my... I, I had a task of explaining that it's not deliberate. And I mm. had to confirm from the mother. Yeah. Uh -huh. So Madea Liniambia, this guy, <laughs> if he locks himself in the room just to do something or he's to gone. just rest, he's gone. So you have to knock the window, knock everything and even... They used you know. to throw cold water through some, you know, mianya. Yes. So that I can wake up. <laughs> to I, eat. To eat. Yeah. And, yeah. Like, uh -huh. and now here comes my wife. Yes. She expects me we be awake. <laughs> For and up to up to eleven. And some stories. Some stories. Uh, I used Laguna. to switch off so easily, and I, I hey, had to it really used about to hurt the whole me. thing. I kumoja tu kako sana sana. Nika mwambi a we we sioni. Na nika boeka. Ha, nika boeka. Ya sioni. Na kumbuka, I even went. Nika mwambi a mugon. I ah. picked some of my clothes left. You literally left. Yeah, I went to when I reached the stage. I went to. I was now expecting, unajua vile, saingine tuna expect kupembelezwa, anifuate, aniambie Rudy, he never did that. I went to the stage, I'm looking behind, I'm not seeing anyone. Sasa nikimuambia Rudy, nita nikimuambia, sweet at kutoka leo, sweet at aranga araka, but you see I cannot do it. Be lying to her. I will be lying to her. Uh, but uh, then with the time we start and understand yeah mm -hmm. it takes but time there is uh, what she expects from me mm -hmm. and there is what i expect from her yeah and we cannot offer that humanly uh, talking mm -hmm. you can't offer a hundred percent so you start with that huge gap mm -hmm. towards now converging mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. today we sleep together i mean yes. at the same time yes I don't know at what point we started uh, doing that, mm -hmm. but it's a process. Yeah. I think what is very important is uh, being able to address those differences, mm -hmm. and then you be in the other person's shoes. shoes yeah. yeah. So that I know uh, if she gets angered so easily, mm -hmm. and uh, she shuts up, she doesn't talk, mm -hmm. uh, because that's how she used to be. <laughs> when she's angered, she just shuts, shuts up. up. Yes. You know, it's, very, it's not very easy to handle, to handle that. Yes. Uh, for that, you will have a bigger makerele. You will have a younger person. We are with your mother. We don't know how to handle it. We are with your mother. We are with your mother. Sweet heart, roll pop, pus in juice, sweet pie. So, we are going to get it. But when now you decide, okay, mm -hmm. I must be the one who should change. I think I'm the one who is uh, wrong. Mm -hmm. And then she does the same. Mm -hmm. Then now that it is very easy to understand each other, mm -hmm. forgive each other, yeah. and accept each other. Mm -hmm. and you know, then the other thing I discovered is that one must accept the other one as they are. Yes. You know, at one point she could ask me, what would you want me to, where would you want me to change? Mm -hmm. And I got to a point, initially I would say, <laughs> but then I got to a point mm -hmm. of telling her, nothing, you don't have to change anything. Oh. Because you are good the way you are. Yes. You are perfect the way you are. Yes. And then she also started seeing me as perfect the way I am. Mm -hmm. And life now becomes very easy. Mm -hmm. And that is a mistake many couples do. Yeah, to yeah exactly. You want someone to change so that they can level up to your yes. to your level mm. they come to your level mm. but this person cannot be you mm. she can only be her sure. mm -hmm. so you let her to be her yes mm. yes yeah wow
And so that is one challenge. Yes. And yeah. uh, how have you been able to overcome that? Uh, talking, maybe talking maybe they are, they are, there is a couple watching us yeah. right now and they are having that challenge. Absolutely. Uh, mm. And the one, the other one is wondering, yes. who, what kind of van is this? Mm. Who sleeps at now 6 p.m.? Yeah. Yes. How, how did you um, overcome that? It's all about speaking together <laughs> and openly talking about issues that affect you. Yes. Mm. Remember we said no one from outside will come to really like mediate between the two of us. Mm. If you allow people to come and mediate, mm. what they do mm. is they now exaggerate the gap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you you are like you are the one who is telling people about our problems. Mm-hmm. But the minute you get to a point of knowing that first of all, you can't start the journey being perfect mm-hmm. and you appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Be ready that there will be times when you disagree. Mm-hmm. Be ready that you'll have differences. And differences are very healthy, yeah. by the way. Yeah. They help you to be better. Mm-hmm. So now you start talking. When there's any issue, instead of uh, sleeping, even the Bible says don't allow the sun to go down yes. Yes. when you are angered. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So instead of doing that, mm-hmm. uh, talk mm-hmm. through the issue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then when you are talking through the issues, mm-hmm. make sure you do it with a lot of love. Yes. yes. You have to first bring in all these sweet words. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Tell her that without you I am nothing. Yes. You give you are something. Yes. You know, so that you are preparing <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the ground. Yes. yes. Then that way she, she will be able to accept what you are saying. Mm. Uh, tell her, you know, I, I know I must have uh, wronged you, mm-hmm. but I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, men don't say sorry, but mm-hmm. that's the greatest weakness you'll ever have. Mm-hmm. You are a human being, she's yes. supposed to be your partner. Yeah. And you are a human being, so you can always make mistakes. Yes. And you, did you know that it is very difficult for someone to be offended any longer when you have already said, I yeah, am sorry. 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 Yes. Mm-hmm. You see? Wow. But many men will say, mm, I can't say sorry. Uh, mm. The pride and ego. Yes, that yes. ego. Mm. You see? Mm-hmm. So now, when you are able to apologize where you've made mistakes, mm-hmm. imagine there is nothing that will be mounting. Mm-hmm. You are able to solve any issue. True. I agree. So that is one challenge. Mm-hmm. Another challenge. Mm, of course, it was family at the beginning. Mm-hmm. The first thing he did was uh, when we... By the way, when I got married, I was very tiny. Mm-hmm. Very tiny. Very yes. tiny. Yes. I was actually weighing about 49 kg. Mm-hmm. So the guy tried to prove to my parents uh-huh. that he can do something. Yes. Hey, he fed me. Uh-huh. Hey, he fed you well. I ate. Yes. And you know, at some point, I reached 124 kg. 124? Yeah, more oh, than 49. double. Yes. <laughs> so after having our second born, actually, it was really bad. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know... That was the measure those days. Umechunga mstiana wea tu lazima. The image of God should increase. Yes. <laughs> so, he did that. Mm-hmm. Oh, but at the same time, I, I now started getting issues, health issues, mm-hmm. even esteem issues and all those kind of things. Yeah, you see, we could work together. Mm-hmm. And uh, for me, I've, actually, this is my biggest I've ever been. Mm-hmm. So we could walk together, but then I'm very fast, even when I'm too slow. Yeah. Because she's already too big, yes. uh, horizontally blessed, yes. beyond measure, <laughs> and round. Yes. So walking was a problem. And yes. you know, people would even ask me, young man, why are you leaving your mom behind? You, mom? Well, she, you know, when you are big, you look like uh, you are <laughs> old. Yeah. Yeah. old yeah. So her esteem, that is uh, how it went. It really affected me. me. I even started, it was yes. a huge challenge. I actually, uh, and you know, most of the time when you have esteem issues, you always misinterpret people. Yes. I used to misinterpret so many things in, in case I keep quiet, kidogo akona kitu anafikiria anasoma because that's the time he was pursuing his master's. Mm-hmm. I would like, I interpret long, wrongly like he doesn't want to see me, all mm-hmm. those kind of things. Mm-hmm. But I thank God because now he, you know, he also realized and mm-hmm. at some point now came to my rescue, mm-hmm. like talking nicely to me, accept, you know, it, we will work on it. Mm-hmm. And that is actually the time now we got to the business and I started talking about nutrition. I got back mm-hmm. my health. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is now when we, and you see, whenever now we could go to church when I was really overweight, mm-hmm. I started sitting far from him. Mm-hmm. I would tell him, go, I'll be coming. Mm-hmm. 
so that I don't, I'm not seen with him. Mm -hmm. And it really affected me. Mm -hmm. But he really helped me out. Mm -hmm. He worked on me. Mm -hmm. He talked to me. Mm -hmm. He told me it is possible. Mm -hmm. He actually changed my mindset, tuned me to see myself mm -hmm. the way I wanted to be. Yeah. And for sure it so happened because of his help. Mm -hmm. You know, he never ignored my situation and mm -hmm. said, oh, because I would keep quiet most of the time. I keep mm -hmm. to myself and I'm like, now I look like this. But my parents were celebrating. <laughs> uh, so that is what really was the big challenge. Mm -hmm. But you know, he did it so well. Mm -hmm. And that kind of dialogue that he has said, dialogue as as a couple mm -hmm. is very important. Mm -hmm. Actually, we had written something on our bedroom and we hanged it. Mm -hmm. We had some rules for ourselves. Mm -hmm. You don't sleep before you solve a matter. Uh, Those are the things we put and we, we, we followed it to the latter. Of mm -hmm. course, me, I would really calm down most of the time. I'm the one who was breaking. Mm -hmm. But you will always tell me, no, 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 Pierre Rose, we have to talk it out. Mm -hmm. We can't share with other people. They will just aggravate the situation. Let's talk it. Mm -hmm. We are the solution to our problems. Yes. Yeah, and many things. This guy, funny enough, I can I call him a perfectionist. In so many things, you know. Even with the first class owners, I got a second up and sisi ni kama ni wale hawajasoma according to him. Unaona? So from the beginning, he's always wanted to do things perfectly. Mm -hmm. If there's a strength in him, is time man ma it's time, time keeping management. time mm -hmm. management this mm -hmm. guy he never gets late for anything mm -hmm. and i'm those kind of people you want to check you the mirror you want to do yeah. this you know you do things thoroughly and you are just so slow mm -hmm. so i remember initially before we got our second car we were driving one car and mm -hmm. we have to be going to town mm -hmm. and we are going for meetings mm -hmm. and you know what he would even leave me Come by Matatu. Kuja na Matatu. I can't be late. Mm -hmm. And in many occasions he did that. Kumbe, he was disciplining me. Today I am also a very good timekeeper. Wow. So he taught me that. Mm -hmm. Okay, with tough love. Because later I would, I would even be so mad. Hata si muangeleshe kwa mkutano. Na nisisi tunachea mkutano. <laughs> <laughs> so until I say now, who is wrong here? <laughs> I, I think I'm the one who is misinterpreting him. He's trying to keep time. Because they say mm -hmm. time management is personal management. Yes. If you can't manage time, you mm -hmm. can't manage yourself. Mm -hmm. And you know... He, it took time so mm. that persistence that consistency is really very important mm. not that, that you also see your partner going astray doing things the wrong way because it our business we do it together yeah. so it it will affect my our business in the mm. long run yeah. because one mm. is doing the right thing i'm doing the wrong thing mm. so we came together and agreed mm. we should never be late so we are always early that is one thing i can i thank god for mm. and it takes time mm. we have to be patient with each other mm. that is one thing i learned in marriage you have mm. to be patient with each other mm. so along the way now we got to really tune mm. and funny enough today nowadays he says something and i was like i was just about to tell you yeah I was just, just, that spending time together has really, really helped us because mm -hmm. we've gotten to really get intertwined. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm so grateful to God because this has even trickled down to our children. Mm -hmm. I remember last year, my daughter was, we were just uh, having an evening devotion and she said, I want to get married to someone like daddy. Wow. <laughs> I said, wow. Yeah, I felt so uh, flattered. The daddy has become is a role, role model. model. Yeah. yeah. So um, what, what we are doing actually also in our business, we are the top rank. We are mm -hmm. president team members. Mm -hmm. So you ask our daughter, what do you want to do to be? I want to be a president team member. Mm -hmm. I said, wow, we as parents, we can be role models. We are the first teachers to our kids. Mm -hmm. We are the people who show them. And you know, we don't, we don't show by telling. Mm -hmm. We show by doing. Yes. The one you do, the action, mm. that is what the child will read. Mm. And they have always enjoyed the time. We are always available for everything they are doing. Mm. And even the work we do, mm -hmm. we do it sometimes, most of the time at home. And they watch us doing it. Mm -hmm. And they will always see that my parents, they are, they are working smart. Mm -hmm. We also want to work smart one day. Mm -hmm. So it's really exciting. Mm -hmm. And um, that coming together has really helped us mm -hmm. to be able to be united mm -hmm. in, one, in, in one spirit mm -hmm. and all the time facing the same direction I as think a that family. issue of uh, <clears throat> whatever you are doing you are modeling the kids mm -hmm. it's very deep mm -hmm. deeper than we can discuss here mm -hmm. because uh, you know sometimes parents or couples will do things mm -hmm. 
and they imagine that the children are uh, very naive yes. to catch yeah. what is happening. Yeah, true, true. But, but then uh, we plant seeds. Yes. And that awareness mm. also helped us to be very cautious mm. that if I shout to her mm -hmm. or she shouts back, mm. then the children are picking that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, we have too much fun together, <laughs> and the children are our referees. Yes. Like uh, just the other day, they were asking us, by the way, how did you do the courtship? <laughs> and now we have to demonstrate. Yes. The way we did, we and did. We, we did it. Wow. Practically demonstrated. Yes. So we're having a lot of fun together. Yeah. And uh, they see, oh, these guys are great friends. Mm. Yes, by the way, she's my best friend. Wow. I forgot to yeah. tell you. I, I know yeah. that. Oh, you are aware. From the way oh, I yes. see this <laughs> out there, yeah. I can tell. Yes. I can yes. tell your friends. And that really helps the children a lot. Mm. Mm. Parents should never, or couples should never even show their differences, if they exist. Mm. To their because they will always be mm. there. Mm. You know? And, and they will just be like us. Yes. So we have to be very careful, mm. not by just uh, saying anything that you feel like saying mm. and forgetting that they are picking everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you never take it out. You know, it's like, uh, you know, spreading feathers mm -hmm. that you cannot recollect. Yes. Mm. It, uh, if the feathers are spread, they are gone, they, they are, are gone. gone. Mm. Mm. So it's the same thing. And that's why I impress uh, parents mm -hmm. and uh, couples mm -hmm. that they are not just doing things right for their own sake, mm -hmm. but also for the children. Yes. While watching and them. it goes even beyond that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I tell people leadership starts from the house. Yes. Mm -hmm. True. From the house. Mm -hmm. You won't be a failure in the house and you'll be successful elsewhere. Mm -hmm. By the way, I drive a lot of energy mm -hmm. from our relationship. Mm -hmm. Because I'm expecting to talk to masses mm -hmm. out there, mm -hmm. uh, train them on leadership and mm -hmm. business and all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. You see, if you are uh, grieved from mm -hmm. the house, yeah. you don't have you the energy. Not, yeah. yes. But if energy. she becomes your greatest support, mm -hmm. uh, I remember when we were starting the journey into leadership and all that, we could even um, psych each other in the morning. Mm -hmm. <coughs> then uh, yeah. after the talk in the evening, we are like, ah, you nailed it. Mm -hmm. And you know, yeah, so you are encouraging each other. Yes, encouraging Before other people out there come yes. to encourage exactly. you. Your spouse is there for yes. you. Yes, yes. Wow. So it works magic, mm -hmm. and I think uh, that is a debate for another day, a yes. discussion for another day. Yes, that uh, uh, leadership starts from the house. Yes, and uh, how you relate mm -hmm. with each other mm -hmm. to a very big extent mm -hmm. determines how you behave out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you cannot go out there and show something different. Yes. Unless you pretend that people mm. will tell. You can't mm. fake. Yeah. Mm. You can't mm. fake it. Yes. Mm. I want us to take a short break. Yes. And as we come back, mm. uh, I, I want us to talk about the, the in-laws. You know, at some point when you were starting mm. dating, mm. there were some issues with the, 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 the father and mother-in-law. Mm. How is the relationship now? now. That hey. we are coming okay. back after. <laughs> Yes, we are having the karaoke and they are sharing their love journey with us. What a story. This is a power couple. And I am learning a lot from this couple. And I believe that you are also learning from us. And I, as I always say, this show is not a monologue show. So kindly leave a comment there. What are you learning from this couple? Is there something that you have learned from them? Kindly leave a comment there. Also remember to like and also the, share this link with your friends even as we continue with this uh, love story. So this is Couples Will Show and this is where we write down our love with when we are alive but we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under and that is why the karaoke's they had to come here and sign their love. Wow. So how has it been with the in-laws? You know, initially I could uh, <clears throat> say that uh, my in-laws were not so excited about the whole thing. I think they were also waiting to see whether they risked mm -hmm. the life of uh, their daughter. Mm -hmm. But to answer the question how it is now, yes, I, I think we've been able to do so much mm -hmm for both sides mm -hmm. such that my parents feel 
I am married the right, right person yeah. uh, who has contributed so, so much in my life. Mm. Mm. And the love between her and my parents is so intact. Mm. You know, mm. uh, they treat her as uh, their daughter in the real sense. Mm. And then uh, I, I'm not the right person to talk about how her parents take me, but mm. I, I know they love me. I love yeah. them, mm -hmm. you know, 100%. Yes. And I realized that uh, even when I'm going there, Buzi <coughs> ananguka. Yes, yes. I eat, my friend. Yes. And me, I go, but I don't get that damu kumwagika daily. Yes, but, but him. him. Yes, there's I'm, no way he can go there. I'm treated mm -hmm. like I'm now the child there. Yes, and yeah. more than herself, mm -hmm. um, because I proved a point mm -hmm. that I took the daughter to take care of her, mm -hmm. not to harass her. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think uh, even at home, where she comes from, we've achieved so much. We've built my in-law, in-laws, uh, you know, nice. very beautiful, nice home. home. Mm -hmm. You know. <clears throat> We go there and we are proud of where we are going. Yeah. I mean, that would never have happened mm -hmm. if uh, she never got married to me. Yes. <laughs> and, so, if, and if the parents, they gave you stress. Yeah. No, no they, they actually, I remember at one point, they apologized. They apologized. Yeah, they wow. did. Literally. In fact, mm -hmm. literally. Mm -hmm. They did. And they were like, we didn't know that we were to cut off your dreams. The dreams that you guys you had. Yeah. Wow. And uh, you know, proudly I tell them, you see now, she was yeah. <laughs> You said no. She you see what you could yeah. have missed. Yeah. <laughs> what you would have missed. Yes. Yeah, so yes. it's very, very fulfilling. Mm -hmm. And um, the same to my parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the parents are really great. Mm -hmm. Of course, initially, there are the hiccups that you feel like, okay, especially the language barrier for me, nothing much. Yeah. I would say the language barrier. You know, mm -hmm. when you are new in a place, Personally, I had never gone to a non-tribe mm -hmm. home mm -hmm. per se. Mm -hmm. Never. Yeah. So that was the first place I landed. Mm -hmm. So you find people are talking their language. Yes. And you're there. now. They are laughing there and you're wondering, are they and laugh, you are like, laughing after me? Okay, uh, could they be talking about me? Yes. You know those kind of yes, things, you know, yes. they always come. Eh? Mm. But of course, at some point now, I also started learning the language. Where's in Isengenya Sasa? At least I know uh -huh. much of it. Even mm. when you talk, I know the context. Eh? Mm -hmm. So it has really helped me. And mm. he has wonderful parents who are also God-fearing. And that's how they brought him up. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they loved me and they have always accepted me. Mm -hmm. And of course for him, I say he played the bigger part because yeah. sometimes even with the in-laws, mm -hmm. it all starts from you, mm -hmm. the two of you. How mm -hmm. do you relate? Mm -hmm. Do you get a complaint from the in-laws and you support that? Mm -hmm. Or you defend your wife or your husband? Mm -hmm. Because it happens. Mm -hmm. And then I also discovered, you do, you know, some people do, they are so partial mm -hmm. they do things like this side better than this side especially where they come from it's very good to balance yeah. all the time like mm -hmm. when we built a home for my parents mm -hmm. for his dad we because they already have a permanent home we bought him a brand new car wow. i mean so they also feel like we are balancing everything mm -hmm. and involving them in mm -hmm. most of the things that we do mm -hmm. and uh, being prayerful people they have always prayed for us mm -hmm. And uh, to my parents-in-law, I really thank them because they held my hand. Mm -hmm. And this guy is the one who played the biggest part. Wow. Because you know that sometimes maybe they could also misunderstand me, mm -hmm. but the guy will not support, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Where now we come together and they see these people are one. You know, no, nobody will come mm -hmm. and ca come and there between yeah, between you mm -hmm. if you are one. Mm -hmm. And the same to my place. When I go home, I talk nice and I tell people now. Mm -hmm. And they also can see, you know, you can't pretend, as he mm -hmm. say, they will always read from even the way you look, yeah. how the children are happy mm -hmm. and all these kind of things. Mm -hmm. So you, you see, I think there is a big point there. Mm -hmm. I'm coming from my parents yes. who, has, who have brought me up. Mm -hmm. The same for her. Yeah. And we're expected to really be closer now mm -hmm. than the ties yeah. the way they were. Mm -hmm. You see, you have to really understand mm -hmm. that uh, if you remain closer this way than this way, mm -hmm. then it means mm -hmm. you will uh, sort of break your family, mm -hmm. your, yes. your, your relationship, mm -hmm. because you want to always please your parents. Yes. But here is the magic. Mm -hmm. They are now both my parents. Yes. 
so I will treat them like my parents. Mm -hmm. She will do the same to mm -hmm. both. Mm -hmm. And therefore, for us, we don't have the stress mm -hmm. of uh, what are you doing for this, what are you doing for this. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. I remember like we started uh, the home in her place, mm -hmm. and even as much as we had a uh, permanent home for my parents, mm -hmm. now we later came and put up such a modern world class home wow. mm -hmm. because we are doing things one thing at a time, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. And uh, first, also knowing what are the projects that you want to achieve so that you don't have, you are not working half Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you are ticking off mm -hmm. the projects that you have achieved. And mm -hmm. doing the planning together. Yes, yeah. You know planning that one, together. he's mm -hmm. not doing his own thing like, oh, this yes. is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. We sit down and say, this is what we, we it becomes, I it's no longer an I, I, I me and myself. Mm -hmm. It's, it's we. we. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. every decision making it mm -hmm. is we, mm -hmm. and imagine to the extent that now even we involve the children because yeah. they are also growing up, and we need to teach them how they mm -hmm. they also become very it, it's very inclusive. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I'm talking about uh, parents before we wind up. Yes. I want you to speak to young parents right now. Mm -hmm. There's something powerful that you have said that your 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 parents they they didn't want you to get married to him mm -hmm. but later now they realized they could have cut a dream mm -hmm. and so i want you to speak speak to fathers you speak to mothers out there maybe there's that young boy who has brought this young girl and they are saying you can't get married to this because she's not educated you know she doesn't belong to your tribe she's not doing well financially speak to them yeah, that's a nice one. <clears throat> I was I will talk to parents, especially fathers. Yes. You see, this young man is bringing someone to you, mm -hmm. to you are uh, to be part of. Actually, he's he's bringing a daughter mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. Now, this man is not marrying for you so you shouldn't bring your test first yeah you can only advise mm -hmm. but allow the young man to make his decision, his decision. yes otherwise if you tell him that he must marry wanjiro guess mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. you'll marry wanjiro yes mm -hmm. and then kick off wanjiro mm -hmm. to marry the chebet yes that uh, he wanted mm -hmm. so already you have brought rangos in there in the house mm -hmm. But then as a man, especially if you are working with this young man, mm -hmm. not just when he is uh, mature, but mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. childhood, mm -hmm. then you will grow knowing mm -hmm. the kind of a wife to look for. Yes. You'll be teaching the traits. Mm -hmm. And these traits can be found in a tribe person mm -hmm. or non-tribe. Yeah. Actually, what I've seen is most of the marriages that work so well mm -hmm. are those that are non-tribe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you know? merge. Yeah. You know, you, you live your life. Yes. There is no culture you follow. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. there is nothing like you're following this and that. You design yes. Yes. your own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. fathers, we are there to mentor the young men, mm -hmm. but not to dictate to them mm -hmm. what they should do. Yes. When it comes to where to marry and who to marry, mm -hmm. Advise them, mm -hmm. but not based on tribe yes. or cultures, mm -hmm. but on traits and character. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, you powerful. Mm -hmm. Yes, That's traits, right. traits and characters. And characters. Mm -hmm. That is to say, this young man can have good characters, though he doesn't have cash. Yes, the cash. Yeah. You, you know, many many people are looking for. You marry someone who has got some money, mm -hmm. and uh, someone who is uh, like this or that. Mm -hmm. But the beauty is. Character is everything. Mm -hmm. The couple can start with nothing like we started, with yes, nothing. Yes. You are not driving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Today people look at uh, what we drive and where we live and they are like, man, you guys, you are lucky. Yes. It's not about luck. Mm -hmm. But we are accepting to start from where we were. We started and we somewhere. build everything together. together. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. So that is what parents should really recommend for their children. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Is this the person you feel you love? Mm -hmm. Maybe you can interrogate a little bit. Mm -hmm. But remember, the mm -hmm. final decision is to be made by this young man. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so parents, advice, mm -hmm. uh, instill the right uh, you know, character mm -hmm. and guide your children. And when they grow up, they will not depart from that way. Yes, yes. very true.
to wow. speak to mothers. Yes. I'll speak to mothers, but still I would say this before I speak to mothers, that you find like now I'm raising sons and daughters, mm -hmm. and I have discovered most of the time the daughters are more inclined to the dad. Mm -hmm. the, the sons are more inclined to the mother. I had a very weird experience sometimes back actually. Mm -hmm. I came home and the children thought it's the da dad, mm -hmm. and they were two girls, yeah? Mm -hmm. Our firstborn, two girls, yeah, and those two girls had, they were now big enough. So when we opened the, the, the gate, mm -hmm. they were so excited before we opened the gate. When I walked in, mm -hmm. they said, ah, ni mom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so I would see the excitement in them when the dad came. Eh? Yes. So these girls are really inclined to the dads mm -hmm. and uh, the male. Or, so um, I would also say, maybe it's also good if the dads can really work with the girls mm -hmm. and advise them there's something good in sitting down with your girl showing them what is needful asking them questions and children they learn through questions a lot mm -hmm. don't be the answering everything for them mm -hmm. and uh, i've learned a lot through my parenting though we are still young but i know it will take us very far um you saw sometimes mothers are also very, uh, they, 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 they make their sons to be mommy's boy. Mm -hmm. no, no. Mm -hmm. And I hold Kabisa so tight. So when mm -hmm. the girl comes, she seems like the one who is breaking the bond between mm -hmm. the, the tie between yes. the mother and the mm -hmm. son. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes it brings a lot of rankles. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very important to be cautious at that point. Mm -hmm. Because the girl you have been brought is your daughter. Yeah. When you accept, like me, when I was accepted, I felt so, like, at home, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But most parents, they don't do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the children, they are there to be corrected. Whenever they do something that is not nice, mm -hmm. go correct them. Yeah. And mothers have that. And, you know, this bond develops when the kids are young. So if you are there and you are a young mother, mm -hmm. develop a bond with your kids kid mm -hmm. whatever the sex if it's male or female mm -hmm. develop a bond and you see at the end of the day because like us you see reaching to my parents was really tough telling them i want to get you know mm -hmm. let's be close to our children so that we can advise them accordingly mm -hmm. and you see with that a girl will come home and say mom imagine i got a boyfriend mm -hmm. In the initial stages, mm -hmm. and you ask them some questions about yeah. the boyfriend, mm -hmm. where you know those kind of things. So very good questions that will lead them to serious decision making. Yes. That is very key for every parent and mm -hmm. especially mothers because we are the ones who need to raise these children. And anyway, once you raise the children in a God fearing manner, God will also guide them, and you, we tell them to always be prayerful. You know, the other day we we did a joke, you know, us we love because we have all the time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we just interview our kids. We take a video and we ask them, what kind of man do you want to get married to? My daughter wrote a whole composition of the kind of man, you know, she put wow. down. Uh -huh. I always want to challenge them. And it's good, by the way. It's not the way we, we were brought up, you fear to tell people. It's good. Once they also start, uh, you know, growing up, they, 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 they are so free with you, they are going to tell you, oh, this guy has approached me. Oh, mm -hmm. this guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, how is this guy? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ask them questions about the guy. Do you think that is nice? Don't tell them no. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I discovered when you tell children, don't, don't, mm -hmm. they will do the opposite. Mm -hmm. Don't, Slow. don't. Mm -hmm. And let the answers never come from you. That's a, a true thing I've seen with my family. Mm -hmm. You know, you tell children, this is what you need to do, a partner. Mm -hmm. Like you tell children, don't overdrive. No, mm -hmm. tell, ask them what consequences are there if you overdrive. Wow. They will tell you, oh, I'll get an accident. But if you tell them don't, they will experiment. Mm -hmm. Then what they happens? get Yes, Why what happens. No yeah. Yes. So let them get the consequences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, as they grow up now, they grow with that and that freedom yeah. between the children and mm -hmm. the parents. Let there be no gap. Mm -hmm. Because when you become mkali, they'll go and ask out there. And out in the world, mm -hmm. there is very dangerous people who can tell them anything yes. for their own happiness and what. Yeah. yeah so that's it. Wow, wow. Hey, I am so grateful that you guys found time to come and be with us. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, we have to end it. Yeah, yeah. How can people get in touch with you guys? Maybe they, they are hearing you guys talking about big businesses and mm -hmm. leadership. Mm -hmm. how, how can one get in touch with you? Yeah, first, I say that uh, <clears throat> we are on a mission 
to change the world. Mm -hmm. And our joy today is not on uh, material things. Mm -hmm. Our joy is on uh, impacting lives of others. People sure. are complaining, uchumi ni mbaya, mm -hmm. your life is difficult. Mm -hmm. But we are saying it all starts from the mind. Mm -hmm. So we are open. Mm -hmm. We are willing to help those who are willing to be helped. Because mm -hmm. someone has to be hungry for success, yeah. willing to be uh, advised and uh, guided mm -hmm. and teachable. Yeah. So for those who may want uh, that we get in touch mm -hmm. and they are serious, uh, they can always uh, get us through my wife, uh, her phone number. 0728-842-240. That's my number. And mine, okay. Okay, I repeat. 0728-842-240. You can get me and you come get empowered. We also, by the way, we have not finished this thing because we travel the world. Mm -hmm. Me and Josphat, we've traveled in the last 10 years to over 30 destinations. Mm -hmm. We are in our third passport. Mm -hmm. We are always, we love exploring mm -hmm. and being together, by the way. Mm -hmm. That time together. Okay, we, we are together always, even in the house. But you know, change of environment. Yes. So we also empower people, especially couples. Mm -hmm. They come, we show them how they can work together mm -hmm. to start a business from low. They grow mm -hmm. as we mentor them. Mm -hmm. And they grow globally. Like now we have business in over 20 countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's it. That's my number. Yeah, mine is 0721-619-266. Feel free to reach out to us. We'll be very blessed to help you to step up mm -hmm. from life of mediocrity to life of excellence. Yeah. Mean. Because that is who you are. Yeah. Don't accept... To be born a billionaire and you die a pauper. Wow. Yes. Powerful. Thank you. And we have our office on Kenyatta Avenue. Yes. So once you reach out to us, you can come for the training one of the days and we help you. Wow. Yes. So thank you very much for coming. But now, this is the last thing we always do mm. on Kapo's video show yes. before you leave. Oh. Nataka Mwangaliani. Macho kwa macho. Macho. Oh, that's what is easy. We do it every day. Yeah, we are used. <laughs> we are used. And okay. I want you to speak to your spouse mm -hmm. words that will come deep from within your heart. Do you know that? I started, so I have to start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my love. I'm so happy. But for the last 14 years, you've been my choice. You've treated me like a king. I'm so happy that I was able to create some heaven for you as my angel. And I promise that that was just a rehearsal. Moving forward, I will treat you better than it has ever been. As the Bible says, things that have not been seen or heard the things that God has kept for us and I tell you things that you've not even thought of heard of with the help of the almighty God I'm gonna deliver that and you always feel wow I made the right choice thank you so much I love you darling oh, I'm feeling nice <sighs> it's my turn so just fat I must tell you, I'm so lucky to have met you. We have come from very far together. You've been very patient with me. And from the bottom of my heart, I love you for who you are. You're, you're such a true person to me. You're the best husband, the best father to our wonderful children. And I know our future is very bright together. We are going to go places. We are going to grow together. We have already grown and we are yet to grow more. So I love you from the bottom of my heart. Just know that. And I am ready to sacrifice anything to make sure that we grow together and we get to our uh, destination in terms of marriage and love. God bless you. Thank you, darling. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, just wow. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Yeah.
we we feel honored thank you thank you very much and may the lord bless you your marriage and your business amen so we really appreciate that you thank you came to be with us yes and that marks to the end of our tonight show what is your take home me i have learned a lot and uh because i don't want to give you more kenya let me go and share with my wife <laughs> and we are going to enjoy this journey so this has been couples week show and this is where we ride out our love with when we are alive for we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under neither we want our love story to be read when we are gone and this is Wema TV the voice of hope my name is Willy Kinyashe now there they call me the undisputed ama Dr Love kwaheria kuonana tuonane Friday and make sure that you like you share and you leave a comment you can also get me on Facebook and IG as Willy Kinyashe asante sana good night and god bless your marriage and your relationship kwaheria